Hey guys, it's Mark from Christ Centered Fitness. Today I just want to be real with you for a second. I get a lot of people who, you know, message me, speak with me, clients I've worked with over the years who have said to me that they want to make a change with their exercise and nutrition, but they're just not motivated. And the truth of the matter is, is that we're all motivated to do something, right? So it's not that we're not motivated, it's just that our motivation is misplaced or misdirected from the things that we want to do. For example, in the morning, I'm often very motivated to stay in bed. I know there's stuff I got to do, so I get up and do it, but my motivation, my drive, my desire is to stay in bed, right? Especially in these Canadian winters, I just want to bundle up. In any case, just just keep that in the back of your mind that there is a motivation. It's just it's directed in a in in a way that is different from what you're saying you want to do. So, back of your mind, think about that. Um, but practically speaking, I guess the thing is that, you know, if you only ever do things when you're motivated to do them, spoiler alert, you're never going to get anything done, right? I mean, if I only ever went to work and did work when I felt motivated to get up and do work, well, I, I wouldn't accomplish work. I wouldn't make money. I wouldn't be able to support my family. And the reality is, Despite the fact that I love what I do, there are just days when in the summertime when I would rather be out doing something else, right? So I have to make a choice that is in direct opposition to what I feel motivated to do. And, and the people who make long-term exercise nutrition changes aren't people that never have lapses in motivation, I mean, those people, everybody goes through those, even people who are in this fitness and nutrition sphere, even in this industry, we go through the same things. But the difference between the people who are able to make those changes and the people who aren't able to make those changes is that the people who make them are the ones who continue doing what they've decided to do in spite of the motivation to do it. And the good example of that is marriage, right? You fall in love with your spouse and you make this commitment to them, a decision, a, a resolve that I am going to be with you and not just be present with you and stay married to you, but I'm going to love you and cherish you and honor you until the day that I die. Now that's a commitment we make. And then throughout the marriage, if you're married, you know this, there are days when the last thing you want to do is love, honor, and cherish the person that you're with, right? But, the, but what happens is that you've made a commitment and a decision and you've resolved to follow through on that regardless of what your feelings towards that thing are, right? So I think that's kind of the mindset that we have to have about making changes in our lives. Now, how do we do that? Well, practically, there, one thing we have to remember is that biblically speaking, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit gives us uh, the power of self-control. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is that it, it gives us self-control. So the closer you are to God, the more time you spend in reading the Bible and in prayer and just feeling connected to his presence, you will feel a sense of more self-control. In the in the worldly sense, in the, in the directly applicable sense in your home, the best thing you can do is use the times when you are feeling motivated to set you up for the times when you're not. So, for example, Sunday night when you're like, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm going to change my life this week. Don't just go to bed, right? Lay out your workout clothes for Monday, right? Get your Tybo all queued up on the on the video screen. Um, you know, call your gym buddy and say, you know, or text somebody and say, who's calling, right? Let's be honest, we're texting. Um, text your gym buddy and say, tomorrow morning at this time, we're going to be at the gym. And just set yourself up in a position so that when you wake up in the morning, you're not feeling motivated. You're like, oh, the gym clothes are already out. My lunch is already packed. You know, I already texted somebody to say I'm going to meet them at this time. You know, set it up so that, you know, there, there are things pushing you in the direction that you don't feel like going in that moment. So use the times when you're focused and motivated to set yourself up, to set up your, your environment so that you know, you're less likely to freak out when you're, when you're feeling uh, 
you know, lazy or unmotivated. Similarly for food, you know, if you pack a lunch and bring it, you know, it, it, it detracts from the likelihood that you're going to go out and maybe grab something else, you know, that, you know, I'm tired, I don't feel like being at work today, I deserve a treat. Hint, you probably don't deserve a treat. Um, you know, you probably didn't do anything all morning, you're on Facebook at work. Anyway, so the key is set yourself up, set your environment up so that in moments of lack of motivation, that, you know, you're going to have an environment that makes it easier to stick to the plan that you've decided on. But realize, quite frankly, that there are going to be moments where there's going to be a lack of motivation to go forward for a week or a month. And you're just not going to want to do the things that you're required to do. But the Bible says that you were bought with a price. Jesus gave his life so that you can, can live in eternity with him. And I guess the key here is that our service, our, our call in this world is to love God and love people. And we will not be able to love people if we don't take care of our physical selves. So there's a calling on your life. And we have to take care of the bodies we're giving, given in order to do that. So again, make a commitment, a decision, and a resolve to take care of your body as a form of stewardship in order to serve and help other people. And in this, those positive moments, set yourself up for success in the difficult ones. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great day.